Well, hello there, Assassins. Welcome back to episode number two of building the buyer's house from, of course, Stranger Things and here in Minecraft. Yeah, this is episode two, and today what we'll be doing is hopefully building the interior walls. We're going to actually go on inside of our house now. And uh, yeah, we're going to build these interior walls, obviously with all the different wallpapering and uh, the different designs for the specific rooms. So, of course, the bathroom is different uh, to say... This room in the middle here, which is actually Jonathan's room. Obviously, he's got that mural kind of thing on his wall, like a tapestry. And then, obviously, you've got Joyce's room in the back here, which is a little bit different again. And then, of course, Will's at the front of the home, which is different again. Well, it's sort of different. It's quite similar to the living room, thankfully. But, yeah, we've got all this stuff to do. And it's going to be very, very important to get this done right and correctly. So, that's the same thing. But, <laughs> anywho. Also, whilst I'm here, just want to say I'm so sorry for not having these videos a little bit more frequently. Um, I basically went to film a film uh, for two days a couple weeks ago when I basically posted this video and then um, on the Wednesday I went to go see a friend in London and then got a cold so I wasn't able to record that week and then have a tutorial ready for you guys for last week so that is why we're here now hopefully doing some catch up I'm at the end of my cold I can feel it's leaving me so thankfully we will be on to uh, healthier Kind of videos so that'd be great but yeah we're gonna get the series on the go now get on with it and get building this new house let's go for it assassins okay then assassins so to get cracking we need to get ourselves some spruce planks we need some normal mushroom blocks now make sure by the way you get these paler ones because sadly there is still a glitch in minecraft which i don't know if mojang actually know about or they just don't want to fix but it's really annoying basically if you pick block this it turns into a brown mushroom block so just make sure you get the normal one it is a pain. It's been in the game for so many years now, and I just wish they'd sort it out. But there we go. You need this one. You need some smooth sandstone slabs. You need some smooth sandstone. You're going to need a spruce trap door, a spruce slab, and some stripped jungle wood once again. So, we are going to go inside. I just realized we haven't actually used stripped jungle wood yet. So, we're going to need it for the first time today. <laughs> All right. Coming into this house, we have ourselves a massive floor space to work with. And this is, of course, going to include all of the rooms and uh, the kitchen, the uh, the sort of dining, living room kind of area, and obviously everything you need for a house. So we need to really, really make sure we get all the details in here. Now then, we're going to firstly start with a spruce plank kind of skirting board that will go underneath our main wallpaper, if you like. Um, so it gives it that old feel. Now, of course, we don't have a flooring in yet, so we're going to need to build one extra block up. So obviously, one block is our floor. So just dismiss one block already when you're building walls, okay? Alrighty. So if we start next to the door, of course, we don't want our wall to be in the doorway. Otherwise, how on earth are you going to get in and out of the house? Very good for keeping demigorgons out, though. But mind you, seems they don't know how to use a front door. So there we go. <laughs> Alright, so it gets to the left of the door. We'll build up to our ground level. So as we know, that this is all just going to be the floor. I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this entire long wall here. Uh, just with a block there. So I know that's my flooring level. Now we start on number one up here. That's kind of like ground level right there. All right. So we need one entire layer of these spruce planks going along here. Now, I don't know if that goes into Will's room. So what I'm going to do is just trim this down before getting that, that window. And I'll just start down here. I'm going to go along for eight blocks, but I'm going to go nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so just where the demigorgon kind of hole is just here take that how you want right <laughs> we'll go next to this one and we'll build again for a nice layer here and then past the window of course some more blocks just here so we have technically two blocks of this skirting board kind of level and then the remainder of this wall will be filled up with another three blocks on top of this um, with our mushroom so we'll build this right away uh, sorry right away right up to the ceiling I will warn you, my English is not great today, so be prepared. I don't know why. Maybe it's this cold. Or it's just me. <laughs> Probably just me. Right, we'll build two blocks down here. There you go. And then we want one block by, uh, besides the door, but then a second block which will bring the wall forward. So if we build two lots just here, again going up for two lots of spruce planks, and the mushroom on top of those like so. Already, that looks like a huge improvement to what we had already. So that's brilliant. Now, if we go ahead and stick ourselves some slabs on these, not on this one, we don't want them here. We want them just like the block in. So on the actual eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, takes us to the left of the doorway. And we want to go over the doorway 
into the corner just here. So on this block, just after the door, like so. So we've added in 10 slabs just there. Wonderful work. Okay. You can probably hear Retro kind of chuckling in the background, but we'll uh, we'll leave him to it. Right. <laughs> you heard his name. Right, let's go this way. And uh, we want to go ahead and build, obviously, our ground level down here. And we want 10 blocks past this uh, this corner wall. So we're not counting this as number one. This is our corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, just in here. That is now Will's room, and this is now our living room. So let's build this again up to the two blocks in height, just here. Uh, remember, we've got ground level to, to work with, so we're going to go, technically, three blocks just there like so. And then we'll take our mushroom again for the three layers just above this entire area. And as you see, we're starting to venture out into the bigger kind of quadrant of the roof up above. So we're actually missing out a section of wall. And that is absolutely fine. We do counter for that with the ceiling. We sort of bow the ceiling on the inside to make it appear, uh, I guess, smaller on the inside with rafters um, rather than, you know, having all this exposed um, polished andesite and uh, normal andesite up there. I was about to call it stone, so I, swapped, I stopped myself there. <laughs> all right, so we've got 10 there. That looks great. We're going to turn again this way to the left. So going back along as if we're getting to the front door again. So up here, left this way. And we want ourselves seven blocks here. Now then, we are going to go for... Ooh, that's actually a good point. Now, I don't know if that is 10 blocks of surface area or it's 10 blocks in total. So I will go and double check because I don't want to make a mistake here. I'll be right back. Now, it's always best to double check your work and I'm glad I did because this is actually the surface area of this wall. So this is worth 10 blocks from this point to the point we can see on the right side. Which means that when we do start this extra seven, we have to build an eighth one in this corner. So we'll build that now. We'll just build this other piece of the wall. And now we can do seven that will be visible on this side here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I really hope you guys can see that okay. But just in case, I will get some night vision because we've made that mistake before. And there we go. <laughs> Let the light of day shine in. Right, let's build this wall up and let's build these mushroom blocks on top of that. So we have that just going for us there. That is seven visible, which means when we build the next part of the wall, which is gonna come back in this way, so we have the sofa in its little cubby hole kind of cut out area just over here. We wanna start over here and then build an extra one, two, three, four, just on this corner here, coming back toward the front door. It should just be after the front door. Oh no, sorry, just before. There we go, just before. So this actually closes up the living room here. We'll build up this mushroom block all the way to the top there. And we have the living room section cut out just here. That looks lovely. Awesome. Now there is going to be obviously a bit more of a, a detail in the living room. And it's actually a piece we can add in now. We're going to go along the skirting board. So not on the, the ground ground level. We're going to go along this way. Along this way. One block from the corner. So not this one. But these two just here and here. This is where our cupboard is. So we can fold spruce trap doors up the back there. And then we can fold ourselves some spruce trap doors from this block here. Uh, actually, I'll probably do it from within the block, just here. So just there. And I'll probably do the same over here, just in case we build either side of that cupboard, which I think we do. So like that. So it still looks like the cupboard, but uh, it's gonna be shrunk down a little bit on both sides, just so we can add in ourselves the details that go in the living room as well. So there we are, that looks good. <laughs> that looks very good, that's what I was gonna say. All right, so over here, we are now on to be on the doorway to build our little hall that runs from the front door, goes past the living room, and it takes us into the main hall of the home. So it's in the middle of the home, and that is going to be the hallway window. And you can tell it is because we have, of course, this wall not obstructing it and not obstructing the quartz bricks either side of it, which is very, very helpful. Okay, so if we start at the front door and we go to the second block in that I was talking about earlier, and we build the three blocks of spruce below. Just there. We build the three blocks of mushroom above. And then we take ourselves, we'll do two spruce from the ground here. So one of our skirting board blocks, which is actually going to be covered with two spruce, uh, <laughs> two spruce trap doors this way. Blimey, I'll get there one day. I will. <laughs> right, there we go. That looks good. We leave a block gap of three for our flooring. And then on the fourth one, we build another two blocks of spruce. And the top one has a trap door coming down. And then we do our wall. And our wall here is worth three blocks in total. So we'll build ourselves one, two, three spruce planks up. 
for three lots. Just like that. That is past our little trap door block. And I'm going to add in myself another uh, spruce trap door here. Now I'm not sure if this continues the whole way through uh, this wall here. But let's assume it does and we'll just build it in there like so. So now over this way we're going to take ourselves a slab here. Then every slab away we'll do another one. So I'll do another one just here. So I have myself two slabs. And up top here I'm going to have myself a block. And then of course we have a whole block gap between. So I'll add another slab in just there. We'll add in mushroom over here. Again to our three. And then we'll do a slab. A slab again. A block up top. And a slab beneath the block. Perfect. And that is our archway between the living area, the hallway, and of course our dining room. Awesome stuff. So now we have done that bit, we're going to turn back towards to... <laughs> back towards? Back towards this wall. And we're going to come to the ceiling. We're going to go into the ceiling and break these two blocks here and replace them with some sandstone. Actually, just for one. Leave the other one off though, that's fine. And we'll do the same with all of these actually. Now this is helpful because the next block of going back would be actually uh, letting light in from outside, as you can see. But um, these ones are just on the cusp of the elevation of our roof, which is making it very helpful for us to build here. So we'll take ourselves some spruce, uh, spruce planks even, just along here. And we'll take another sandstone here for maybe two blocks should do the trick. If we go back down to this end and do our spruce planks this way, just for maybe four at the moment, then we'll do another two lots of sandstone here. Um, what I'm going to do is make it so these come to a middle one, so I'll build three lots of sandstone, and then I'll do myself another beam of spruce in the middle there. Perfect. Now this isn't going to change as it comes over the roof, because of course the elevation is still the exact same, uh, and obviously goes down into a gradient on this left side. So um, that is all the way to the back of the house, so we can build these along for now. We'll build them up just over this area, and again this one to line up with those for now, just there. In the middle of these, we'll actually take ourselves smooth sandstone slabs. So we cover up our uh, andesite looking roof, including above here. Obviously there's gonna be a little bit of wasted space, but that's actually okay. And then we'll just make sure that the, uh, the walls incorporate these different beams and roof designs. So like that, for example, and then we'll do the same here, just making sure that we've got enough of a cutout there for our wall. Perfect, and then we'll just take our wall to come right up to secure that roof area, like that. So if we get back into the living room and just sort out that final piece over here. So up here, obviously we can replace that with a wall as well, just like so. So then you have yourself an entire room with a roof now, which is perfect, with an actual, you know, proper roof for the, uh, the design we want, which is brilliant. Now if we come on into the dining area so if we go beyond this point go into the dining area we have of course another wall immediately just after this kind of cutout section so we'll build up the spruce to match like we did before around the window frame as well of course like that and then we'll add in our mushroom again three blocks high above our skirting board section now we know that must continue along this wall because of course it's a room it's going to have at least three whole walls with a doorway so let's do this Sorry, I meant three whole walls and then a doorway wall. So that will obviously be four walls. But yeah, I was thinking of whole, whole, uh, whole walls there. Right, so if we build that one up to the same point as this one, just for now, then we stop there and we'll bring our mushroom in here to do some of the work for us. Obviously, including around where the wall and the roof changes like so. So it looks a bit funky, but we're going to sort that out as well. So in here, we'll take ourselves again, another layer of sandstone uh, slabs just there. And then we'll do ourselves, well, we'll cut out these sections. We don't need them on the inside. We'll do ourselves two blocks of smooth sandstone here. I'm going to change this one to a spruce, of course, in the ceiling. Uh, like this. I'm just double checking my work, making sure it's all good. So far, so good. And then I'm going to take myself a beam just in the middle here. I'll build it up to the same position as the previous beams. And then I'll do myself another two sandstone blocks up here and replace this one for the wall up there. Cool. And now we can take ourselves sandstone slabs again above the section here. I think above this archway, what I did was obviously it's going to be, you know, kind of weird to just leave it like that. So if you wanted to go ahead and actually add in yourself some more blocks of spruce to cover up the actual archway there, 
you know, please be my guest. That would look actually really cool. So just do the wall there a little bit and then build this one up to the same position just there, just the wall instead of the beam. And again here as well, to the wall and not the beam, like that. Wonderful, lovely work. Okay, cool. So yeah, along this way, um, oh, actually what I'm gonna do is swap these blocks up here to spruce to match my beam up top, just like that. And I'll probably do the same on this one as well. Um, I will just double check that. Oh no, that one stays, that one stays a lovely mushroom block, that's fine. Okay, brilliant. See how that goes along to there. And then it's gonna go three blocks past the uh, window, one, two, three. And on the fourth one, which we've actually built, which is very helpful, we're gonna take ourselves some of this stripped jungle and we'll build from the ground all the way to the top, including into the roof there, like so. Perfect, that's very good. Okay, so that just shows there's like a bit of a divide here between the dining and the kitchen, um, just here as well. So it doesn't go into one continuous massive wall. There's a bit of a divider, so it separates the two rooms together. Cool, and that goes along the roof there. We got that beam in, we've got that done. Let's go beyond the uh, place here. Let's add in this beam all the way along to the back of the house. So up to there, that's fine. And then we need to add in ourselves another beam, which is this one. This one goes all the way to the back as far as we can go. So just to there, that's fine. And then you can kind of guess the theme here. Most of these beams go all the way across to the other side of the house. So you can build this one across as well, as that's gonna be in kind of an open space with the bathroom in here. Um, leave the other three alone at the moment. I think there's three. Oh, okay, just two at the moment, but there will be one in Will's room. So leave the other two alone at the moment, and we'll get onto that later. But yeah, we have two rooms done. Perfect. Very nice work. Okay, so as far as this kitchen area goes, we're going to take our jungle for this one, and we're going to mostly do jungle all the way along here. So I'm just going to take jungle up in replacement of the mushroom and the spruce planks just here. So we'll go all the way along this entire wall here. So no need for a different materials and being a little bit confusing we can just go to town with it which is pretty cool so like this up here there we go around that window that's awesome that's very nice okay there's a bit of a switch up once we get to the end obviously because we've got the back door and things to consider we're gonna obviously build up the wall around the back door, making sure we leave a gap for the flooring in there. We'll build up around this window, around the door frame, just like so. I'm only gonna do it just here, because this wall is actually gonna come directly back along this side of the house. So I'm gonna build it just two blocks extra at the moment until I figure out how many blocks it actually is. But just two blocks for now, like so. Oh, we're just changing the wood direction for my OCD. There you go, it's quite a narrow looking kitchen um, from this angle, but once it's all furnished, it actually looks pretty cool. So up top here, we can do, we leave this layer alone because it's above the window and the door. We'll build this one just out one more block. And then above this, we'll build ourselves a block of sandstone in here and here, removing these ones. We'll build our beam to the back wall just there. And we'll build another sandstone just here, like so. And that, and that way we can do our slab all the way from this part to the front there. And then these two slabs again, following along. I'm going to build this one into another spruce just there. So building these along. So sorry, my uh, my voice sounds a little bit nasally. It's uh, one of those things with a cold. It's just uh, a bit of a pain. Right, there we go. That looks awesome. So that's very, very good. Okay. So now beyond this position, we need to find out how much this wall is. It's going to be worth 10. And it's going to be worth 10 from this block in here. Obviously the one that we have started with, which is brilliant. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you've left yourself a three block gap technically for the hallway down there. And obviously again, it's not gonna get in the way of our quartz bricks at the window there. So perfect stuff. So I'll build these up. These are obviously things you need to look out for. Absolutely. So I'll build this all the way to the ceiling. That's absolutely fine. These walls are obviously from top to bottom. So however much you build them or however little you build them, um, is obviously very important. So there we go. Something useful we can actually add in whilst we're here is where the fridge is going to be. So we're going to go along from where the front door will be, or the back door, sorry. It's going to be four blocks from the back. So one, two, three, and four. And on five and six is where our fridge will be. Of course, it's going to be one block up from the ground again, and it's going to be worth three, um, sorry, say two by three kind of shape here, just like so. And it goes into the bathroom. So there we go. 
Perfect. Not the fridge goes into the bathroom. You can't access the fridge from the toilet. Just clarifying that. <laughs> That'd be very cool though, wouldn't it? Right, there we go. <laughs> oh my word. Right. Up top here, I'm just going to go ahead and put my slabs in the placements where they should be. Because of course we know that most of this is going to be kind of covered up. Um, there is of course going to be the bathroom just in here. So this will probably change up on the roof a little bit. But we'll sort that out in a moment. But for now we can just kind of secure that in like so and maybe add the other slab in just there. Cool. So we're up to the same position. I need to actually get myself another material and then we can get on to doing the hallway. Okay then assassin. So now restocked with some lovely stripped spruce wood. I'm going to go ahead and build this hallway. Now we're going to go behind our jungle just here. Our stripped jungle. And just checking. <laughs> and we're going to go for one two blocks. And we'll build this all the way to the ceiling. So just all the way to the very top. Including through this beam here. Make sure you go through it. Just there and there. Like so. Now I think the beam continues beyond. But just in case we'll remove it for now. Just like that. Cool. Then we basically leave a door frame. So we'll leave a block just here. And then build another wall up here. And this wall is actually worth three blocks. So we'll build all three of these up to the ceiling again. Now obviously we have quite a ways to go, so we're just going to build it up to the same height as the rafters just there, or the beams. In the middle of the doorway, we'll bring the um, doorway down just by three blocks in total. Like so. So we have a one, two, three block door, or high doorway. And then of course the flooring block will be in there. So that's fine. So three blocks for the doorway, perfect. Now then, we can add in ourselves some trap doors along this doorway. We're going to go one block up from the floor, of course, because the ground level is there. We'll take two lots of these and then one on this side and then leave a space and do another one just there as well. That's kind of the skirting board going around this corner. There will also be one on this wall as well, um, keeping the theme of this wall kind of going around here. So we can actually take it around the corner there just by one block. Here on the end, I'm not so sure, so I'm going to leave that off for now. But we can always add that detail in when we do the furnishings later. Good stuff. All right, going down a little bit further in the hallway. We are gonna. I'm gonna take this uh, trap door off actually, just there. I'm gonna leave this space. I'm gonna go with one block after. So this is another doorway. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and build these five up to the same height as my previous walls. So just here. Once again, I want to leave a three block gap for my doorway. Uh, so technically four at the moment, whilst you have no flooring block. So I'm just going to build three blocks down from the top like so. So we have number one, number two. This is going to be the bathroom. This is going to be Jonathan's room. And we need to find out where Joyce's room is going to be on the end here. Now Joyce's room is three blocks away from this one. So we're going to leave a one block gap for our doorway. I'm going to do one, two, three. And I know we're one block from the, the actual wall here, but that's actually perfect. So we build that up just there. Three blocks down in the center for the door frame like that. And on the end here is actually going to be the hallway. So we need to of course build the hallway in as we've been doing the traditional style, this kind of style of wall. So we'll build just here in the corner, along here. So one block each side of the uh, the quartz there. Then make sure to go up into the quartz layer. So you have three blocks, but obviously two are going to be visible. And then we'll take our mushroom blocks for the rest of this wall just here surrounding that window. Just like that. So much better looking. Absolutely. We'll do a slab, or sorry, a trap door just in the middle of that window, just there, just for an extra little detail. I'm just going to check if they're anywhere else in the house because I think there is, yeah, there's definitely one in the kitchen. So just down here, there's one there. There is going to be another, um, there's another two actually just here. Just checking all the windows as we're going back through the home. I think they're in all the windows, you know? There's one there, definitely. There is, yeah, they'll just, we'll just do two there. Is there any in the living room? Let me check. Um, where are the living room windows? Yes, there are. Okay, cool. So we can get that done as well. We may as well use the materials we have to, uh, to get these things done. Perfect, that's good for now though. Awesome. So coming back down to this side, we need to go ahead and make this wall all the way along here secured up on the end here so how do we get there well we need to find out where will buyer's door is and i think it's two blocks up from this wall here so one two then it's going to be here and we can add one block in to this side here so we'll just find that 
and then build the walls up on both sides. And again, just here, we'll bring the mushroom blocks down for three blocks from the top, leaving a three block gap when our flooring's in here. Perfect, and that takes us into Will's room. Okay, on the roof here, we're gonna do ourselves another lining of our beam. So we'll do some spruce up here. Then we'll do ourselves the sandstone slabs, just up here. I'm gonna do them for probably two lots, I reckon. Just like that. Just double checking my work here. I'm gonna say two lots for this one. And then we do our spruce slabs here, or spruce planks. And then we'll do three lots of slabs. And that's the, uh, you can see it obviously takes us to the beam there, so that's good. And then we do another three. And then we do another lot of planks. And then we do another lot of three. And it should take us back to our original hallway beam, which is perfect. So there we go, as long as you start on two down here, you should be on the, the road to uh, victory down this way. Perfect, very nice work. Okay, cool. So beyond this point, what is there to do now? Well, if we go to the doorways, we can actually add in ourselves trap doors for each of the doorways open. Now, a lot of these are the same sort of door design. So they're literally just gonna be all open. So they're gonna be folded on the side, kind of like that, basically. Very cool. Now in the hallway as well, obviously there's some more trap doors to add in. We've done this one here. We need to do two and leave one in the middle here. And the, on the end down this way, you can maybe do just one and then we'll have the armchair kind of in the corner down here. On the other side of this wall though, you can do two and then you can do one. I think there's something in the way here, possibly. Um, and there's possibly some stuff in the way again, so you can't really do many on this wall. So we may have to add some more back in. I'll add another two just up there, just for now, but we may have to remove them or add them back in later. But that's fine, that is that done. Just double check your work, make sure there's no holes in the ceiling in any of these rooms we've already done. And then what we'll do is get some more materials and we'll go to doing these rooms in here and obviously sorting out these rooms. So yeah, that's all great, that looks awesome. Okay, very fine work guys, lovely job. All right, let's get some more materials. All right then, Assassins, I don't have enough inventory space to keep my night vision on me. So we're gonna get through this, this section before eight minutes. We've got this, it's gonna be awesome. All right, we're gonna take ourselves some stripped jungle wood. We're gonna take some smooth sandstone slabs. We're gonna take some spruce planks. A loom, or many looms. Spruce trap doors once again. Some sand, some stripped mangrove wood, some terracotta, and some quartz bricks. And what we're gonna do is start right the way down in Will's room, which is obviously at the front of our home. So just here with the one of the, uh, sorry, the back of the cupboard, basically from the living room in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spin around to the doorway and we're gonna go ahead and take our jungle. We're gonna build jungle up, just to the left side of the doorway, down from the top of the doorway. And obviously for these three blocks, again, finishing up with the jungle here. So we're basically building two walls. This is a very thick wall just here. Then we want to do ourselves a jungle wall all the way along this way, going around our window, of course. This is going to be all the way up, so don't worry about, you know, swapping materials as you get halfway up the window. Window? <laughs> the window? Turn into Scooby-Doo. Rindo? Right, there we go. <laughs> Sounded more like Yoda. <laughs> now up here, as we get to this top part up here, obviously there's going to be a beam from the hallway, so we can pretend that the beam is going right the way through this room here as well just to the cusp of this room. So we'll take ourselves two lots of slabs, just here. Bear in mind, we wanna cover up all this. So you wanna cover up, hold on, if I spin the picture around a little bit, there we go. So we'll actually build the wall down here first and then we can cover up the roof up here so it doesn't look so messy. So if we do jungle down here, I'm gonna do it the whole way down just so it doesn't confuse me. Up to there like so. And then once we hit the two blocks above our window, we change to slabs for three. We'll build two blocks down here on this side and two blocks forward. And then I'm gonna build myself this wall entirely up. So it's actually kind of protruding into the room just here. And that's gonna be the walk-in wardrobe just there. And then I'm gonna switch this block out for a whole block of smooth sandstone, of course, with my slabs and these blocks here. And that one on the other side as well. A beam right the way across the middle of the room. So it lines up with this beam in the hallway or pretend, pretending it does. 
We'll do ourselves jungle here. We'll do ourselves a... Ooh, a slab just here. And then slabs all the way just here, like so. Perfect stuff. We'll do ourselves a trap door just here and here for the windows. And then we want ourselves some looms in our cupboard. So where we've got these jungle blocks, replace all of these with our looms just to represent different shelves and maybe some like folded up clothes in here as well. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. And of course we have this wall as our third wall in our in our house here, in our room. Um, third being our whole wall, of course, without a doorway. So there we go. Perfect. That's all ready to go for Will's furniture, which we'll build in the next episode. Wonderful. All right. So coming across the hallway over this way into Joyce's room, it's very important to get this one accurate because we can move down the house toward the kitchen, which of course we don't want this massive hole where the fridge is supposed to be going through the bathroom. For one thing, that's a privacy issue. Then going into two bedrooms. That's a huge privacy issue. So <laughs> we need to sort that out. All right, down this way, we're going to take a jungle wall right after coming in this room. So literally on the left of this doorway, right here. And we'll build this just here for this first layer. Actually, I'm going to do the whole thing and then cut out the mosaic or the tapestry that goes into Jonathan's room. So it's actually going to be showing up in Joyce's room. But as you don't see Joyce's room very much in the show, it's not a big deal. So we do this and then we're going to go to the left over here. Oh, no, my night vision's running out. You saw nothing, Assassins. It was an illusion. <laughs> so if we go up here to get back to the tapestry, we have to go up here and build the rest of the roof. So we'll take our um, jungle firstly and build obviously around this window at the end. So all the way up to the ceiling height, just here. Two blocks above the uh, window, we have slabs. Then we have these two blocks, which can be removed. These two lots of blocks. Replacement of a block here. A spruce slab or uh, spruce plank, sorry, which is going to be for our beam. And then more spruce up this way, just entirely the whole way along. I don't think we care about the beam too much on this side anymore, which is fine. But there is a beam obviously in the wall, so we'll try and make that happen just here. And I will build that along to there, like so. Cool. And then we'll do ourselves the slabs. Our beam this way. Our slabs this way. And of course, don't forget the jungle block up there in the roof. Perfect. Although I did actually do uh, sandstone here, which is kind of weird. So if you wanted to do sandstone as well, be my guest. That is a kind of strange design flaw, I think. But hey, it kind of looks cool. Adds a bit more detail to this room. Now then, now we have that done, we can actually figure out where this tapestry thing is going to be. So it's going to be just down from the slab. So here, one block, two blocks. On the third block is where we do our first two sand. One, two. There's actually going to be uh, some terracotta beneath, so we'll do that in first, and then we'll do our sand, and we'll do sand beneath that terracotta as well. Then we'll take ourselves some more terracotta down here on the left, then some more sand up from that, before finishing up in this corner with some stripped mangrove wood. And now we no don't need to worry about that wall on the other side either, because obviously it goes through to both walls. Oh, there's going to be one more sand block just here on the left there. Yeah, perfect stuff. Let's just double check. Pretty sure that's it. Awesome. That was quite easy. Now around this way, literally just jungle again. So jungle it up, get this place looking like the Amazon, and then we'll be good to go with Joyce's room. And there we go. Perfect. Final thing, obviously the trap doors in the windows. Just there and there. Epic. Good job. Good, good job, Assassins. Lovely. Now, coming from Joyce's room and going out into the hallway, we come along to the next door, which is, of course, going to be Jonathan's room. At the moment, it's Jonathan's room and an ensuite with a very open fridge window to the kitchen. So, again, got to sort this out, definitely. Right. <laughs> we're going to take ourselves some jungle and we're going to go down here. We're just going to go past the window by two blocks at the moment and build all of this up. Like so. Then we'll do our slabs as we've got two blocks up from the window. Like so. And then we know to remove these two blocks now before replacing this one with a whole block. This one with a spruce plank, not a spruce slab. I didn't say that this time, that's good. Then three more blocks of sandstone and then a spruce plank here 
and that actually finishes up that nicely. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we may have one, done one too many. That's all right. Cool. So let's do this beam across. As we know, that's going to come all the way through the room. And this one as well. And that should line up with the hallway ones. It does and does. Awesome. Then we do ourselves the slabs, of course. Whoops. There we go. This one, obviously slabbed up as well. Just like so. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I'm going to knock off this slab because I've done one too many. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build myself this wall of jungle. That's absolutely fine. For two lots at the moment. May end up switching it around for another another two actually. So another two blocks. So we make it into four. Just like this. I'm going to build this bit in. Like that. If you're annoyed about the texture, feel free to change it guys. Sorry about that. My laziness got to me there. There we go. Perfect. And then over here, we're going to bulge this wall out a little bit just to build the, the uh, sort of walk-in wardrobe. So we'll do two blocks here. So one comes into the room. And then we go... Oh, do we actually do that? Let's just check. This is even... This is a five block wall. Wow. Very, very spacious. So five blocks there. Like that. And then we'll do the one that comes out to the wall. Just here. Before then going two blocks back there. For our... Two loom blocks back there for our actual uh, walk-in wardrobe very interesting there we go and we'll build two blocks up there just like that obviously two blocks on the ground are going to be for the ground and then there'll be looms in here all the way until we can't see them anymore and then yeah that's it that's for the cupboard just there so yeah that's good that is jonathan's room just there wow that was a strange one <laughs> Awesome. Now this one is where we cover up everything, make sure everything is all done, so that's good. So this one is going to be quartz uh, bricks all the way along this right side wall. This is obviously the bathroom, so here's just going to annoy me, so I'm just going to fill that in. There we go. So I'm just going to do quartz bricks all the way, so we don't have to see Jonathan's laundry in his cupboard. When he's tried to tidy up for Nancy, and he's just shoved it all in his cupboard. Relatable. Uh, <laughs> I hope my dad doesn't watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, there we go. Good stuff. All right, and then go down here. And we need to also surround this window with our quartz. Once again, now luckily, we've done quartz for the window, so that's going to save us a little bit of a job. But we'll just do the entire thing again, like that. So we have like a little gap. I'm also going to do myself a trapdoor up there on the window. And there'll be another trapdoor above this to make it look a little bit bigger. But for now, it looks pretty, pretty small, doesn't it? In here as well, I forgot to say, but there's also a trapdoor on that window as well. Nice one. So back into this one, into the bathroom. We are going to do ourselves... Well, we actually need to get ourselves some lovely smooth quartz slabs. These bad boys just here. I'm going to take some... Uh, we're going to take some just here for two. And then we'll do three just here. You can leave that andesite alone. That's absolutely fine. That one's the only one exposed in the entire house. Then we'll do a block of sandstone here, a beam here with our spruce planks, of course, going to the hallway. Perfect. And then another block here, and then slabs, as we've been doing before. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there we go. Good stuff. And now over here, to cover up this fridge gap we don't want in our house, we're going to do three lots. That's not three. That's three. Three lots of our quartz just here, leaving a two-block gap on this left side with a doorway and three blocks on the back with the window for a bathtub that we'll be building later. So you can do that just like so. Just make sure to build it all the way to the ceiling, just so it all flows nicely and looks like it's uh, supposed to be in there, you know? Epic, I think that's all done. Wonderful. Well, I think we're about ready to get some materials for the actual flooring. That would definitely help us out quite a lot and it would make everything look a little bit tidier than it does right now with the grass in here. Otherwise, you're gonna be using a lawnmower instead of a hoover. So uh, yeah, let's get on that. Let's do it. Oh yeah, a real quick one before we do is I found out how many trap doors we need along this corridor. We're gonna need six in total. So we've got three, four, five, six. And there's also one slap bang on the end, which is great. Oh, and it looks like there is some more jungle here, which I may have missed. I've just seen that in the corner of my screen just there. Let me see if I've missed that. If I have, then that is a rookie mistake. Hmm. I may have to go double check my work in a second. 
just in case I have. You know what? We're going to add it in right now anyways. And then if I need to remove it because I've made a mistake, then that's fine. But yeah, if we just do that there like so, then perfect. Okay then, assassins, we are on to the importantness that is the flooring. No idea if that's a word, but it is now. We're going to take ourselves some stripped spruce wood. Uh, stripped spruce logs, should I say. Some mangrove logs. We're also going to need some oak wood. Some stripped oak wood. Some stripped spruce wood. Some spruce planks. Some mangrove wood. And finally, some yellow concrete as well. All right then. Well, into this big living area, which also has like a mini hallway. We're kind of going to build both of them at the same time. So we need to find out where there's a rug, and then the pattern around it is actually really simple. But we need to find that rug. So if we start with the pattern, we're going to go next to the spruce, of course, for the main front door. We're going to take this piece of stripped spruce uh, log, and we're going to use the mangrove log to actually be built kind of on its side like that. So it looks like the rugged carpet. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky. It's best to place these stripped spruce logs down first, and then you can place the log sideways from that block you've just placed. All right. Let's go for it. So we're just going to do this. Just to here. Just like so. Nothing more to it than that. Alright, awesome. So that goes kind of along the, the hallway. And then we're able to place our mangrove logs sort of between these blocks now. Which is very, very helpful indeed. So, like that. Now up from this one, we want to take ourselves the oak uh, wood and the stripped oak wood. And we're going to build our rug. So our rug that goes underneath the coffee table or whereabouts the coffee table should be we're going to take ourselves up to the third log one two and three so these ones that are actually facing forward go to this middle one and we'll take ourselves a stripped um, oak wood and we'll just place it I want to place it sideways just there then I'll take my oak wood here for one and one so on both sides then diagonally up for one two three one two three and then one again at the top diagonally with a stripped spruce, uh, sorry, a stripped oak wood here again. Then three down each side. And then three oak wood in the center. And that is our rug. Now all around this is going to be our pattern that we've been doing before in the hallway. So we're literally just going to uh, continue this and copy it all the way around. So making sure that our different woods touch each other, but the same wood does not. If that makes any sense, I hope so. <laughs> so like this. So obviously here we know mangrove in the gaps. You see what I mean? Once we place one down, it's so much more easy to place the, the others down. But it just looks a lot harder than it is, which is the beauty of this build. There we go. Perfect stuff. Look at that. We've basically just furnished that room just by adding in the carpet. Awesome. All right. Well, I wish it was that simple. Hey, we're close. <laughs> Let's add in these stripped spruce logs just here. And then another piece of mangrove here. And that takes us into the dining room. Now, what is in the dining room, you ask me? Well, uh, firstly, let me just check I've got enough done here. So I'm just going to count my logs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Yep. And then we got that one to end off. That's perfect. That's all right. Done that right. Phew. So in the dining room is a similar thing with the oak wood. We're going to build a rug first, and then we're just going to surround it with stripped spruce wood. So pretty simple. So we just go with our oak wood for about four blocks here. And then three up diagonally before four again. And then three diagonally back down to the other side. Like that. Super simple. And then the oak wood, the stripped oak wood, in the middle. Like that. And then we take our stripped spruce wood to build around the rug on both sides in a similar formation like that lovely into the little kitchen area where we have the fireplace we're actually going to use ourselves spruce planks for this so we're going to do ourselves between this doorway then we're going to do from this jungle to the other jungle the same thing put some more night vision on and then what we're going to do is there's a little table here with a rug so i want to place myself my oak wood the second block in one two just here i'm going to do it the other way around though just like that and then I'll do one, two, kind of diagonally up from it just here. Uh, probably even build three, but I'll leave that for now, just for a second. To build the rest of my spruce here, I'll just take two here and basically fill behind that section we've just started to mark out there, like so. That is all there is for the uh, spruce planks at the moment on this side. Now let's finish up the rug around here. 
so we want ourselves another block after where the chair will be so we have no block chair another block after the chair just here so that's obviously three and then back again to the wall and then we'll take our stripped oak wood in the middle there for our table which obviously have the table in the middle and then we can have the chair just that one and then there's gonna be a chair on this block back here I think yeah it's a four block table so perfect so yeah all we need to do is add in our spruce planks around that rug all the way to the back door and of course add a block in the back door there just like so ready to go where the fridge is we don't need to worry about that because of course the uh, the blocks for the fridge are gonna cover that up but beyond this way down the corridor we're gonna take our mangrove wood and we're just gonna place this in a lovely really rugged formation for this lovely looking carpet it looks so nice it looks like one of those carpets where you could take your socks off and you could sort of like make snow angels in the carpet if that makes any sense but you know what i mean it just looks fluffy <laughs> that's what i was getting to <laughs> there we go um here i'm just gonna go ahead and secure this one up by adding another piece of mangrove just so it flows a little nicer there like that yeah so you can't see it when you come around this corner good stuff all right nice one now in the bathroom, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's just going to be yellow concrete. I don't know why, but it's yellow concrete in there like so. Who who designed that? Like, come on. Goodness me. I'm colorblind and I feel like I could have done a better job. Uh, but each their own, each their own. Right, we need to get some more materials for the rest of the rooms. And um, I feel we should get a little bit of detail done as well today. Maybe some like, I'm not really sure, but something. That'd be nice. All right, let's get some more materials and get back to it. All right, then assassins, let's take ourselves some warped warp block some brown wool some gray carpet a shulk shrieker which is the first time i've ever used in one of these in a tutorial which is pretty cool we'll take a string we'll take a bee nest again i think this could be the first time i'm using one of these possibly use one in my valentine's tutorial but anyways <laughs> an item frame a bamboo mosaic slab and a bamboo mosaic stair all right what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of furnishing in the hallway before actually dedicating tutorials to furnishings themselves so let's finish up the flooring first. If we take our warped warp block and go into Jonathan's room, we're just going to take this in the flooring in Jonathan's room. All the way across, of course. Just like so. It's a very bright material. It definitely stands out. Then we take brown wool in Joyce's room. Wonderful. And then we do the same in Will's room. So again, nothing really fancy with these two. Not as cool as the nether warp block. I will say that. <laughs> but we do that just like so. Awesome. Looking good. And now we can take ourselves the fun materials uh, for these different details. So firstly, starting in Will's room. Let's go beyond the doorway. So just here between the jungle for one string, two string, item frame, and a beehive or bee nest just kind of tilted on its side. That is going to be for the yo-yo that they actually use to set off the trap which catches the Demogorgon. So we're gonna take ourselves another piece of string just beyond the doorway for one and two. So we're in the middle of the hallway. And then we'll go back before reaching this position here between these two trap doors or two sets of trap doors and the gap at the end of the six trap doors here. Cut into the middle of the floor for a Shulk Shrieker and then do two pieces of gray carpet, one on each side. And that is the bear trap that of course the Demogorgon puts his leg in like a numpty. And it made a similar sound to that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> awesome. All right, there's going to be also an armchair at the end of the hallway. It's going to be made with bamboo. We're going to stick ourselves a bamboo slab here in the middle. Build a block here. Build a block here. And then we'll take ourselves a stair here. Now, I'm going to do this one upside down, but facing the back if I can get it. Just there. And another upside down stair here facing the front. So an armchair just like so. There's a couple of pieces of bamboo that show up elsewhere in the house. So if we go into Joyce's room, which is here, there's going to be another bamboo chair just to the right of the window down here. Save us having to grab it later. And there's also three more steps or chairs at the dining room table out here in the kitchen or dining, dining ish table. Cause you've got kind of this one in here. So there's going to be one just here. There'll be one just here and there'll be one just here on the end brilliant stuff okay i think that's about it oh there's another in the living room 
This is on the main sofa, the main one that's very, very iconic. So if we go to this cutout in the living room, we take one block away from the wall here, come to this one, and go to the right of it, we can place an arm just here of the chair. We can do a whole block built with a slab behind, a slab up from this one, just here, come a block away and do another slab, build a whole block down here, and then diagonally to the left, another slab there. And that's ready for the rest of the living room so far, a little bit later as well. Cool, all right, awesome guys. Right, I feel like we should quit whilst we're ahead. We've made some definite good progress today. Oh, one thing we might just do is get ourselves a back door because obviously we need a back door to stop the draft from getting in and out. So if we take ourselves a mangrove door like the front door and a mangrove slab like the front door as well, or trap door, sorry, and we place it just over here. If we do it on this block here, kind of against the wall there, I think that looks pretty good. I kind of want to switch it so the handle is the other way around though. So what I'm going to do is take these blocks out. Oh, I've forgotten how to do it now. These ones. Oh, I see. I've got to place it the other way around. I'm silly. There we go. And then we'll take ourselves a trapdoor just above there, like so. You can even do it just already shut if you wish to. So you don't have to keep opening and shutting the door. And then the trapdoor changing as well. So yeah, awesome. Good stuff, guys. Very nice work. Well, Assassins, it has been a real pleasure to be building with you once again. Oh, I've just noticed there's some bamboo stairs on the blooming porch. Ah, crikey. Well, that's all right. We'll build that whole thing all together in one lovely episode soon. <laughs> that's fine. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like on it. That'd be really, really helpful. If you're interested in staying tuned for the rest of the series, where, of course, we're furnishing the entire buyer's house now, then you can definitely do that by considering subscribing today and joining the Assassinhood for free. It'd be awesome to have you join our guild. Follow me up on social medias, guys. You can check out all of the different builds I've ever done over on stuff like Instagram and Pinterest. And um, yeah, I will see you for episode number three coming very, very shortly. I know I said that last time, but I definitely mean it this time. I am enjoying this build and I definitely want to get more to you as soon as I can. So yeah, thank you, Assassins. Have a wonderful rest of your day.